Hello everyone, welcome back to NFTGG where we talk about crypto gaming and play to earn opportunities. So today we'll be taking a look at Guild of Guardians and Guild of Guardians will be a mobile game that you can play with your friends. It'll be four people in a dungeon uh, leveling up, getting gear and of course play to earn. So the NFTs you get in game and the characters themselves that you will be playing are all NFTs. So what is Guild of Guardians? Let's just take a look at the website here. I'm just scrolling around. So over 120,000 players pre-registered. Uh, the first sale has already ended, but there is still some uh, free gems to collect. So in the next sale or even in the current one, we'll just go up and take a quick look at the store. So as you can see here, sold out, coming soon, coming soon. But every single time someone buys an item, the money goes towards a pool. And if you go to rewards, I have no rewards yet because I bought in after the 1.7 million. So people have already been awarded 8,000, 10, 15, 22. As soon as we reach the threshold of $3 million sold, I'll be rewarded 35. And if you're watching right now and you want to get on board, uh, you can buy uh, one of the guilds if you have enough money. All of the $200 ones are sold out. I think the cheapest one right now is like $92,000. So maybe just keep your eyes peeled for the next sale so you can buy maybe a pet for $60. And then because you've contributed to the pile, uh, you'll be rewarded the gems for each one of the rest of the bonuses, which you're still getting in pretty early. As you can see, the, the gem rewards get bigger and bigger and bigger. So getting the last four is still a pretty big deal. That's It's, it's a lot to... Uh, it's a lot to get and the gems will be a form of voting in the game so gems equal voting power guys that's great you can literally mold the game through your voting power and kind of steer the direction of the game in the future so that's amazing so besides buying the characters uh, on the first sale i think the legendaries were only sold at the very beginning we also have pet summon and energy boosters now when the game releases and you get a pet the pet will do one of three things uh, I'll leave a link to the medium article down below so you can take a look at what pets will do exactly But they are worth getting as soon as you see this and it's available to buy I highly recommend picking up a pet and an energy booster and an energy booster is uh, limited to one use um, You cannot stack it, but you get uh, Energy booster for the rest of the time on the account. So it, it's a long-lasting uh, very good perk to have on your account So as you can see here the guilds have already sold out for the, uh, the 20 members, that was $200, but they currently have an ongoing sale of up to 16% off. I mean, if you're one of the people out there that's willing to drop 16,000 uh, on a, a guild, go for it, why not? Um, th this could be a really good investment, but this is not my advice, this is just speculation. So if you can't afford any of these currently, maybe just wait for the next sale. Go check out their Discord and Twitter and stay tuned to see what they will be dropping. I'm also going to get uh, a link here for the referral. Give your friends 5% off purchases and you earn 5%. So this is a mutual beneficial link. I'm going to put that in my description. If you do want to set up a Guild of Guardians account today and even potentially buy one of these, if you're, if you're a crypto whale, uh, yeah, feel free to use my link. Boom, there you go. So as we touched on before, the community milestones where people will earn uh, gems by just participating in the sales, that's all well and good. But what will really make this game super, super um, attractive is the community aspect. And already there's a lot of buzz about this game. A lot of other YouTubers are really on board. The, some of the team leaders or people involved in the, the development of this team have done interviews and they seem very transparent and open to ideas. Um, it doesn't seem like something that's going to crash and burn. That's just my opinion, speculation. I have high hopes for the game and a lot of other people do too. So that's what matters. Uh, and the community is there already. Everyone is waiting with anticipation. You'll be able to play with people in game and there'll be guilds. So the whole game is kind of structured around community and community growth, which I think is such a huge benefit because there's so many crypto games out there where it's a free-for-all and it's just whales that accumulated a lot win and there's no fun involved at all so the fact that this is community uh, based and you can kind of level up characters ascend them when they reach a certain level and your time equals reward so the more time you put in you can catch up to people who had more invest at the beginning just by putting the time in. you might be a god tier player who can put in the hours farm dungeons if there's pvp enabled in the future you could be a pvp king maybe collect a lot of gems 
who knows? The the possibilities for this game are nearly endless, and I cannot wait to see what they uh, what they bring. So the roadmap here we have just some uh, little milestones or future uh, dates of what will be happening. We will see the first soft launch of alpha in the second quarter of 2022 so we are one year away from the alpha release essentially and then we'll get the full release the year after so if you're looking at this video right now and you're thinking oh it's is it too late to get in i missed the the founder's sale no way you are still so early looking at this game and it has so much going for it already they've even released some gameplay it is very basic and it's al it's not even alpha but it looks like something that looks fun and mobile gaming is growing so much. Maybe you're in the UK or America or one of the other Western countries that is dominated by console gaming and PC gaming. But let me tell you, if you go to India, if you go to Asia, South Pacific Islands, like the Philippines, everyone is a mobile gamer. It is such a growing industry. The amount of people that have grown up with their first console ever being their phone, that's going to be a game changer for the whole gaming ecosystem because everyone will be gaming on their phone. And this is an NFT play to earn version of that. I actually pre recorded me opening up my Legendary Hero last month. And this is the first time I've looked back at the footage and realized I record it in the wrong ratio. So we, we can't even see the whole screen fully. But here's what it looks like when you unlock a Legendary Hero in the game. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We have Leah. So I got Leah as my legendary character, pretty cool. You can find out a lot more about the characters, the factions, everything in the detailed roadmap and white paper. So I'm gonna leave a link to that down below in the description. Check out more about the community, about the game if you're interested. I really think this is gonna be something on the next level for NFT gaming. So thank you for watching guys. Uh, as always, hit the subscribe button if you like the content like always helps it helps with the algorithm immensely i will be releasing a new video later tonight as well for the last detail of the mechanics of upgrading cards on colonized mars so stay tuned for that and thank you again so much for watching play to earn let's go